Welcome back to Movie Plot Recap. A boy named Day is shown sleeping in a dry pool at the beginning of this film. As he awakens, he notices his badly injured hand. His body was also injured in various places, in addition to his hand. When he comes to, he notices his feet. A crocodile is attacking on his foot, he discovers. He was being drawn towards the crocodile. Day escapes from the crocodile by using his other foot. The crocodile jumps off his foot and attempts to follow him. Keeping a safe distance from the crocodile, Day hits with a bucket. When the dog saw the situation, it began to bark from outside. As the camera zooms out Day is shown in a deep pool. There weren't even stairs to come out from there. The scene cuts and the scene six days ago is shown. That pool is shown full of water. Day was doing a photo shoot in the water. A sofa is thrown in the water. A marble was posing in the Joker's makeup. During the shooting, Day's friend also arrives with Day's dog. They were enjoying themselves here. Day is shown in this scene while injecting insulin. Because he is a diabetic patient. His friend also arrives and starts talking. Later, the shoot was done. They take group photos and enjoy themselves. They leave one by one. The next morning, Day was here to shut this pool. After him, none will stay here. Day's friend arrives to meet him and tells him he is going on a long leave for a tour. While leaving, he puts the lever of the pool down to take the water out. He comes to Day while tying Day's dog with the grill. The boy asks Day to leave the pool because the water level is dropping. It will be difficult to come out from here because there aren't any stairs. Day considers what he said and says please order a pizza before leaving. After doing all this, Day's friend leaves. Day mistakenly sleeps in a floaty in the pool. Day awakes after some time while hearing the barking of his dog. He tries to get out of the pool and feels the water level is low in the pool. He tries to move from here. His nails also get broken in this try. He thinks he will not get out of here he calls someone for help. The camera zooms out and he is shown at a deserted place. There wasn't anything and none can come for helping him. Day's phone is shown charging near the pool. His phone comes on the edge of the pool when there is a call on it. Before Day catches the phone, he hangs with the charging wire. Day jumps to take it off. But the phone falls into the water. The phone gets dead. Later, he puts his cloth into the drain to stop the water level to get low. The pizza delivery man arrives, Day was doing this and couldn't see Day because he was in the pool. The delivery boy sees here and there but couldn't see anyone. The boy calls Day's friend who has ordered pizza. Day's friend asks him to leave while dropping pizza here. The delivery boy does the same and Day also feels there is someone to help him. Day hurriedly tries to come upside the pool, but his belt gets stuck in the drain and the delivery boy leaves. Day feels someone will definitely come to save him. Without thinking much about this he again sleeps. Finally, after some time, Day's friend named Koi arrives. She notices Day sleeping in the pool. And without noticing the water level she comes to the platform to jump in the water. Due to noise, Day awakes and forbids Koi to jump. Meanwhile, Koi's foot slips and her foot collides with the platform due to it, she falls. Koi gets faint due to a wound on her head. Day immediately makes Koi lay on the floaty. He tries to stop her bleeding with the help of the rope in the pool. The night appears the water level decrease at a dangerous level. Day notices Koi's injury and a blood clot appears on his hand as he touches Koi's head. Day becomes worried seeing all this. During this, Day's dog starts barking. Because a crocodile was moving towards the pool through the main entrance. Day also notices the crocodile and asks his dog to keep quiet. Before the crocodile eats the dog, the crocodile's foot slips. It also falls into the pool. Now this situation has become critical for Day. On one side was his injured friend, and on the other was this empty dangerous pool. From which they couldn't come out. The crocodile arrived here on the third. The worst thing is none could come to help them even from a far distance. They don't have food or water. The crocodile still didn't see Day and his friend. The night passes. The pool was empty till morning. Koi, Day's friend, was still dizzy. The crocodile was sleeping on the other side of the pool with an open mouth. Day again sees Koi and her head was bleeding a lot. Day sees here and there, then sees the crocodile's face. There was a duct tape in its mouth. It was the tape that may be used during the shoot. Day tries to take that tap from the crocodile's mouth. During this, the crocodile awakes. It growls at Day. Day hurriedly reaches Koi and bandages Koi with the help of tape and rope. A bucket full of water is also shown near Day and Koi. Day has filled it with the pool water to drink. After all this, Day notices a vent. Day plans to escape while moving through this vent. Day goes and opens the vent cover and checks Koi. Before he returns to the tunnel the crocodile moves in the tunnel. Day waits for the crocodile to return and when it didn't return. 
Day moves inside the tunnel while putting his life at risk. As he comes to the exit he notices the exit was locked from outside. During this, the crocodile again comes into the pool. The crocodile moves towards Koi when she was alone. Day arrives and throws the crocodile to another side. Finally, Koi comes to her senses. Day sees after some time his dog was eating pizza. The dog throws pizza in the pool for Day. Here, Koi and Day eat something for the first time in those three days. The next morning, it is shown it was their fourth day in this pool. They don't even have water to drink. Day becomes faint because his energy level ends. He remains faint the whole day. At night, Day finds Koi with him when he awakes. Koi tells him this crocodile is a female. The crocodile has laid eggs today. During all this, the rain starts. They again get the chance to get the water. The next morning, it is shown the crocodile moves to attack him when Day was sleeping. Before the crocodile attacks him it falls into the drain. Day also awakes and immediately locks the crocodile in that vent. Later, Day and Koi burn the fire with the help of grass and Day's glasses. Now they boil the crocodile's eggs as their food. They bring the sofa to the edge of the pool at night. They try to move out from there. But they couldn't move out from there. Day and Koi accept their defeat. They are unsure whether they will see the sun in the morning. The crocodile again enters. Seeing its eggs empty, the crocodile moves forward to attack Day. Before this, Day goes inside the vent and takes cover on him. As we saw at the start of the movie that Day is a diabetic patient. He needs insulin now it was their fifth day living in this pool. Day's condition becomes worse. During this, Day notices outside the vent there is insulin injection. He tries to bring the injection near him. Unfortunately, the injection breaks, and after all this, Day and Koi start weeping. Day notices an insulin bag that was his insulin bag. Day's friend has mistakenly thrown this in the drain. Finally, Day injects insulin. After some time, they notice a flying parachute. Day returns to the pool while saying Koi to cover this drain. Reaching there he discovers it wasn't a parachute but was a kid's toy. Day was shouting loudly for help. There was a strong storm during this and a steel wire falls inside the pool. Day was happy BQ's the wire was bearing Day's weight. Even the wire makes Day's hand injured. He doesn't stop climbing and when he was about to reach the pool's end, the wire breaks. Day falls inside the pool again. He gets faint and the starting scene of the movie is again shown. Day fainted and then the crocodile was eating his foot. Day makes himself released from the crocodile. Day gets tired after doing all this. He takes a seat. Koi was still inside the tunnel. It starts raining at night. The water starts filling in the tunnel because it was blocked. Koi rings a barrel to call Day. Hearing this, Day again goes into the tunnel. This time, he decides to go to the other side of the tunnel. This wasn't good for him because there was another pool on the other side of the tunnel. It was deep than this. It was their seventh day in the pool. Finally, two people arrive. They come there to see their parachute toy near the pool. They enter a ladder in the pool. They take their parachute. The crocodile was hidden on the sofa that's why they couldn't see it. Day hears their voice from the other pool. He calls them for help. They left until he reaches his previous pool. The amazing thing is the ladder was there. It starts raining again. Day moves to the ladder again but the crocodile attacks Day. On another side, the tunnel where Koi was filled with water. Day feels Koi has died there. The crocodile was about to end Day meanwhile, Koi gives the sign that she is alive. Seeing Koi alive, Day finds hope and fights with the crocodile. Getting a chance, he ends the crocodile with a huge stick. Later, Day moves towards the ladder. Before he holds the ladder it moves away because the barrel moves from which the ladder was attached. It takes the ladder with it. Day loses hope here because his last hope has been snuffed out. Koi whispers during this and the dog attracts to Koi. Day forbids the dog to jump. But the dog jumps, now the dog was hanging in the pool with its chain. It dies while hanging. Day becomes furious now he has to save Koi at any cost. He pushes himself out of the pool with the assistance of the dead hang dog. At least, he has come out of the pool on the seventh day. He moves to the tunnel where Koi was. He tries to open the tunnel with the help of a pipe. But he was about to fall again into the pool being unbalanced. Luckily, he holds the edge of the pool and comes out. He enters the tunnel, where he discovers a fainted Koi. Day feels Koi has died. However, after numerous attempts, Day successfully saves Koi. They exchange hugs, and the film comes to a close.